On this week's episode, Mariah made a surprise appearance at the Moet and Chandon event at Lincoln Center. And she was on the Stephen Colbert show where she answered all kinds of questions. So stay tuned to hear all about it. Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Virgin. And I'm Dan Enriquez. Uh, and you know, it's Mariah season. Some people think that means it's Christmas time, but what it means is a lot of Mariah action happening. So much Mariah action. We have a, another week of a lot of things happening. We got her over there. She's doing some stuff at Lincoln Center. She was on the television. Charm bracelet turned 20. Oh, girl, don't even get me started. So many yeah, things. I know the Christmas princess is circulating. Um, there's all kinds of little things oh, yes. to catch and up on. We're going to give an update um, um, on what Roblox is. <laughs> yes. We got to the bottom Some of, of it. our listeners and lambs definitely let us know all about it. So we will be filling everyone in on what a Roblox is. Exactly. So remember a couple of weeks ago, I was telling you that I'm here in New York right now. And so I was, I left the gym, I was walking home, I saw some lights camera action at Lincoln Center, looked at, looked at it for a minute and then kept on going and I discovered that Mariah was at this event. Yeah, it was the Spirited premiere. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Well, it happened again. I was walking home oh. from the gym, <laughs> past Lincoln Center, lights camera action, people, there was a choir, there's this big structure they spent like a month building. Oh, really? A full-on event. I'm there in my gym clothes, I'm just... You know, looking to see what's up. I'm like, oh, it's Moa and Shandon. Cute. I go oh, home. Oh, cute. We love them. Yes, some bubbles. Why not? Yeah. And then... Lo and behold, <laughs> <laughs> Mariah was there. You were struck again <laughs> with the uh, yes. unknowingness of what was going on. I tell you, Martin, you have to like... You're going to have to start doing investigations. If you see a tent going up... You need, to, yeah. <laughs> you need to immediately That's the, find somebody and say, what is happening here? Right. And investigate who's coming to this, who is on the guest list <laughs> and figure yes, it out. Yes, exactly. But here's the thing with this Moet and Shandon one. I think it was like a sort of a insider secret surprise. The Mariah part yes, of the it. the Mariah all. part. Yes. 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 Absolutely. I think so too. I don't think they Oops. announced that she was going to be this surprise um, entertainment for the evening. I had no idea. No, not at all. Now, the first things yeah. that we saw were photos of her leaving the apartment, and she was in that gorgeous silk gown. Classic. Well, classic photo up that we oh, love we now, love leaving Honey, the apartment. I need to see a photo of Mariah every time she leaves the house. Uh, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> and she's leaving the house every other day. So I'm like, yes, ma'am. I know. I know. Um, and, oh, and she had the straight hair. Which I think triggered everybody's emancipation. What's like the opposite of trauma? Like nostalgia? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> like it triggered everybody's emancipation of Mimi vibes. Yes, because she was giving very, it's like that hair. Yes, yes. it yes. was. Yes, those and, days. But then here's the other thing. She also had on beautiful jewelry. So I was like, mm -hmm. okay, she's going somewhere classy tonight. Upscale, Upscale. yes. Rich. Yes. Civilized. Yes. She's she's right. making an appearance here. Now I didn't know it was going to be mm -hmm. a performance, but I said she's going somewhere fancy. So, mm -hmm. and, and sure enough, then we have, you know, all the footage of her um making her surprise appearance. Yeah. Well the, I loved like the visual of the small stage and that circle that she emerged mm -hmm. out of. Mm -hmm. I thought that was perfect for yeah. her. Simple, easy, and elegant. That well, that small um, opening that she came out of that works for the standard walk from the side and enter. Oh yes, yes, it does. And, okay, it does. wait, can we talk about the set list really quickly? Yes. Okay, so she comes out of that beautiful little simple entrance, and she does mm -hmm. fantasy, but the big, big no. energy fantasy. In my mind, she's straight up stole big energy now. That's her well, song. Yeah, she should. Yeah, I'm yes, not it's a good song. It. So oh. No, but I'm like, she was like, let me take oh, yes. this. And, she was, and then now she it's was mine. singing like Lotto lyrics. Okay. He, is she singing to Lotto's track or did she put her own track and she's singing to her I own track? I think she's singing to her own track. I mean, right? not of like the, the vocal verse. track, but like, you know, I, she's doing her yeah. own. I mean, she's version of it. doing her version of it. Because 
I love oh, that. Oh, no, I love it too. How do you, I, yeah. I, Mariah should have just recorded Big Energy. Like, that's like she just should have, should have done yeah. that because she was singing all those lyrics and um, it was great. I loved it. You know, Same. when I love she it too. performed it with Lotto at the BET Awards, she sang just the fantasy part. But here mm-hmm. she sang Lotto's part and fantasy. So I was, girl, mm-hmm. this is what I want to hear. Mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. is it. Well, this is her grab and go concert now because she did it in Saudi Arabia. She did it at Global Citizens. She's done it here at the yep. uh, Moet Shandon. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at it. Not mad. It's a good, good because mix. Because you know good what else she performed was the Honey Breaker. The Honey. We love the Honey Breaker. And it was good. The vocals were good on that. Did you listen? Mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm. She sounded amazing. I know. Yes, yes. That's... So we're banging out the hits. Keeping it fresh, oh, though. Oh, girl. The, okay. And then she did We Belong Together. People love We Belong oh, Together. Can't get enough of it. Multi-generational hit. Everyone. Yes. Uh-huh. Done. Mm-hmm. Love it. Perfect. And then, of course, a little All I Want for Christmas is You. Boom, boom, boom. We're done, done for the for night. <laughs> Where's the champagne? <laughs> That's it. That's it. The show is done. Okay, but now we have to talk about um, the wardrobe malfunction. Well, I think that's the high. See, for us who follow Mariah's on the weekly, that set list and Mariah singing is, you know, the standard. Great. But when it really kicks in is when things go awry. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Now the show starts. The awryness <laughs> is everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So if you watch the big energy, I think in the first song, yes. you see her like reach for the side of her boob. She, something's gone wrong already. Yes, something has happened. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's when you got to pay attention. <laughs> like something's uh-huh, up. Uh-huh. I couldn't quite catch what happened. I think maybe the chain came loose. I didn't see it come all the way no, off. No, because her hair, I think, was covering it. So like, it, yeah. it was really hard to see. And of course, she like caught it with her hand. She's had like mm-hmm. a, a similar sort of malfunction before, so um, she has. But you know, yes. she's a professional, a, right? A very professional over there, so she well, handled it well. I'm, sh- I'm sure in that situation you could feel it like pop. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> You're like oh. When shit. it's held together by like a little tight jewel, tiny little jewel <laughs> string. Oh, for sure, <laughs> definitely. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, now I don't want to like throw anyone under the bus for this, but I will say the dress itself was made by, um, some designer, Jonathan Finley. Um, it's like a diamond chain strap gown and the price of it was $795. And I bet you Mariah was like, I'm never wearing this cheap again. I was going to say that's cheap for her. <laughs> that was cheap for her. So she's like, of yeah. course the strap is going to break on this cheap gown. <laughs> cheap dress. <laughs> <laughs> um, but of course, no shade to the designer is a beautiful dress. But <laughs> that's what happens when you buy it from H&M. Exactly. Right. The low budget H&M yeah. dress. Uh-huh. We know. <laughs> yeah. But that prompted... I guess like that, you know, the, the diva moment always happens in the show, but now we needed more people to come yes. out to fix the I dress. Because you're in the middle of the set. Exactly. Uh huh. So we're getting the dress fixed, and we get our favorite like impromptu singing. Yes. Mm-hmm. On the stage, yeah. she sounds. This is where you can like really hear the vocals now. Yeah. She sounds amazing. I haven't heard her sound like this in a long the time. The tone is impeccable. It's mm-hmm. just easy. Like that's her natural singing voice, and it's just. Again, with little to no music behind her, and she's off the cuff doing this uh-huh. song she's just making up about her dress falling apart. That's the genius of Mariah Carey. And that's where the show starts for us. Honey, that's where it starts. And yeah. if you don't do it again, then this is where it ends, honey, because that gave me everything I wanted. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. I need nothing else. Mm-hmm. Oh, we belong together? Forget it. Heard it. Been Heard there. It. Done it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear the off the cuff about the off the off the shoulder dress that is falling off the breast. That's what I want to yeah. hear. Yeah, that's the fun. So this concert had all our favorite things, essentially. Yes, absolutely. It was a surprise. It had a, mm-hmm. a great set list, perfect vocals, yeah. and um impromptu, impromptu moments. Yeah. 
Yes, yes. What more can the lamb ask for? Perfect. Nothing. Nothing. Perfect. Nothing. Absolutely. Maybe high def footage, but it's okay. It's too much. <laughs> okay, no, yeah. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, but you did notice that everybody had their phones up recording. So like it was like people were gay. Everybody, yes. Um, okay. So but we also have a lot of other tidbits to talk about, okay? There's a lot yes, going yes, on yes. in Mariah's world this week, this whole month, really. So mm-hmm. um, okay, where do we even start? Can I start with like a little something? Um uh you know how I love PBS. Oh, that's what I was going to oh, okay. go into, okay. too. We're in the same place. Because <laughs> I was going to say, while she's over here at singing at Lincoln Center, she's over there on PBS. I know, right? I love it. Okay, so, like, I um, I actually watched the Tokyo Dome footage on Apple because I bought it on Apple, like, whenever, like, a, a last year or something when they released it. Mm-hmm. And I was watching it again, like, maybe a week ago. And I was like, this is just such great quality. Like, I mean, I see, I've seen that for years. I've been watching it on YouTube for years, but when you watch it in clear, good HD, oh, mm-hmm. it's, it's good. good. I get, I get sucked into it, but now they played it um, on PBS for the general public. On television for the general, the free network. Oh my God. Yes, that. finally. That is great. Great for Mariah. Also, it's on Delta Airlines. If you're traveling domestically, you can watch it in oh, the plane. In, fl- in flight in entertainment. Flight entertainment. Oh, yes. on the on the back of the headrest. Exactly. Oh, honey. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, she must be making some nice money. Right. Well, she HD'd it up. You got to make the money back somehow. Oh, okay. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that was a good that was a good thing because we love seeing Mariah on TV. We don't get enough of it. Um, mm-hmm. And PBS is serious. It's for the arts. They don't play. Right. Yes. They don't play over there at PBS. I love my little PBS, especially here in Southern California. They got a they got good programming here. Oh, love PBS. Love PBS it. is great programming. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, so that's a fun little tidbit. Yes, we love all those things. That might even mean. We should investigate. It might be on their app now too, on demand. Oh my god! For the general public, it actually, might be. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna look because I, yeah. I got the PBS girl. I'm gonna look if it's on the on the demand because that would be great. That would be really good. And you know, like it's always better when somebody else plays the concert, and then you just have to watch right. it. Right? It's almost like going to like you know a bar or like a club, and you don't mm-hmm. have to ask the DJ to play Mariah. He just plays it mm-hmm. normally. It's just yes. like, girl, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like. That, and that is the best uh-huh. feeling. The best feeling as a lamb. Exactly. I know. So that's fun. Yes, Yay. yes, yes. Um, and it's not Christmas. Right? Content. Right? Yes. I mean, they, I mean, yeah. We love it. It's good. So yay, PBS. PBS. Support the PBS. Support your local PBS yes, station. absolutely. Now, um, we also had this week... A little anniversary. There's always an anniversary in Mariah's world. Absolutely always. always. So we have to give a shout out to our beloved Charm Bracelet album. Girl, those were the days. (sighs) Those were good days, Charm Bracelet. But, you know, ever since Charm Bracelet has happened, like there has been an element of neglect and abuse with Charm Bracelet. Yeah, it's gotten gotten paid um, a little bit of dust. As the kids would say, especially lately, <laughs> in like these <Yes>. years. <laughs> uh, anyway, but Mariah tweeted about the anniversary, and she says, "Dear enthusiasts of Charmy, mm-hmm. our often forgotten and underrated girl, will I wait? Never will I ever forget the process of making this record and how fun and healing it was for my soul." Happy anniversary. You will be neglected. Never more, never more, never more. Never more. Now, hang on a second. You know how she likes to lie to us. Oh, you, oh, you so, know she's always telling some, 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 something that ain't right. It's a, it's sometimes yeah. it's a little askew. Shout out to Miss You Most. <laughs> um, 
So let's see what she does with that let's statement. Let's see. Let's see for sure. That let's but I'm down for more charm action. She's been getting neglected. She has. And, I- and now it's been acknowledged. That's the first yes, step. Yes, the first step. The second step should be the Charm Bracelet Tour HD'd and played on PBS. That's in the... <laughs> <laughs> that, no, first we have to get it to step apple step two. one no, no, step one is to get it to apple okay. <laughs> and, and then, then PBS. PBS. all right fair enough one thing at a time one thing yes. at a time because honestly for for charm bracelet i think that was one of my favorite eras as a fan as a lamb and that tour is probably my favorite as well it's a good it's one. Cool. That's the first time I came to New York City right. to see that Honey, tour at Radio City the, Music the, Hall. The, the nostalgia. The connection you have with all of that. That's right. what I'm telling you. Charm Bracelet is everything. Maybe for the 20th anniversary of the tour. Okay, well, that's... Is it the same year? It started in 2003, summer of 2003. That's next year. Yeah. Don't tell me you can't not edit tape together oh, don't, in a year, because, in six uh, months. Because you know we got that good old footage from, um, um, where was it at? Uh, the good footage on the YouTube. Uh, Philippines. Philippines. Manila, yes, that's Manila, a really good one. And the yes, audio was yes. a little askew. But they, they, have, but now it's but fixed. they have the real, they ha- girl, where's my Charm Bracer tour? Uh-huh. That's all I'm saying. That had the good audio because it was super hot and humid. So the uh-huh. voice was real flowy. Girl, I am telling you, ugh, that Charm Bracelet tour is everything. Ugh, mm-hmm. I can't get enough of it. Can't get enough. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, so much love to Charm Bracelet. 20 years 20 old. 20 years old. Um, also, another little tidbit that's going on. We see a lot of um, social media action around Mariah. Jennifer Hudson was recently talking about her on her show, about how they did, you know, um, oh Santa, and they—that's how they became friends. Well, they became friends on The Voice, and then like they did the Oh Santa, and they like they both love Christmas so much. So that's a cute little moment. Um, mm-hmm. But then a lot of celebrities are out there doing little Instagram stories about the press kits that they're receiving from Mariah mm-hmm. about the Christmas princess. Right, so that's getting a, another push. Yes, all the people, Heidi Klum, Carrie Washington. Yeah, I think all the same friends that got the Minnie and Mariah Carey. Yeah. Same list. Same list. If yeah. you got that, the, your, <laughs> then your Christmas princess is probably on the way, so look out exactly. for it. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so we love those. So that's cute. We love those. Cute to see that getting attention. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's also been two years since, like, Oh Santa came out, the new version. Isn't, With Jennifer and Ariana. Crazy? Two whole years. Oh, man. Time flies. I love that version, though. It's really well done. It's my favorite yeah, now. It's good. I was just playing at the yeah. gym, jamming mm-hmm. out to it. We love... And now I hear, allegedly, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but now they have combined the streams for those two songs, so now it counts as one. Uh-huh. Did you hear that? I did I not hear something that. like that, but I could be mistaken. Don't get me with the numbers, but... I, I listen to them both. I like them both. They're both good. Yeah, I like them both. Yeah. So there we go. Yes. Um, but speaking of sort of Christmas things, let's give an update on some of the Christmas um, chart moments very quickly. Um, she's doing well. She's doing very well. And I feel like she's coming in hard and fast this she year. She definitely is. Now she went mm-hmm. uh, from number 25 to number five, and now she's at number two. Right now, as we yes, speak? Yes, right now, as we speak, she's number two. Well, then number one is going to happen oh, any minute Oh, number one is happening because you know what she just did. She just released all the physical copies that you can buy at MariahCareyShop.com. Oh, yeah, that cute, like, pop-up vinyl oh, yes. is back. Uh-huh. All of it. You need all the, those you versions. You need the audio cassette, all yeah. that kind of stuff. It's all there. And those physical sales is what really... Gets it yeah, going. After, honey, it counts. Counts a little bit, but it counts. Mm-hmm. And she needs mm-hmm. just that little extra. So I think uh, number one is right around the corner. We know that. We know. Could you remember last year was like a little bit of a struggle? Yeah, because this time last year we weren't quite there right, yet. Because uh, we were competing with Adele. And this Adele. year we're competing with Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. So we got we to gotta have everything in line. And like, mm, we need those uh, physical sales. 
Mm-hmm. So we better get over there at the MariahShop.com. And another little tidbit, it has also been discounted to 69 cents if you buy it on Apple. That good old trick. That's what they all do, girl. That is what they do. That's what <laughs> yeah. they do. Rocking around the Christmas tree, whatever that song is. They did that last week. She's right on the heels. Yeah, because they're hot on the heels. Yep, mm-hmm. uh-huh. I wonder if they have physical sales of the rocking around the Christmas tree, though. I bet they don't. Now, who is playing rocking around the Christmas tree? I've not heard girl, anybody. That's what I'm saying. Like, who's like, who's listening to that? Yeah. Like, I'm listening I'm repeat. listening to, like, you know, obviously Mariah. I'm listening to Kelly Clarkson. I'm, I'm yeah. listening to Destiny's Child, Eight Days of Christmas. There is no <laughs> rocking, rocking around the Christmas tree in sight on my playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all remember that one? Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, um, uh, hopefully next week or the week following, we'll be reporting that it's number one again. I think soon. Yeah, and yeah. I think with the concerts coming next week, obviously that's going to create a lot of buzz. So it's and the TV special for the final oh week my of god. Christmas. Oh my god! Oh my god! I cannot wait. That's oh, gonna do I it. cannot wait. CBS is mm-hmm. CBS is running all of the um, all of the promotions, like commercials for it over there online. I know. So really, really good. Um, it's coming. That's a quick turnaround. Oh, yes. Because that's next week, I think, yeah. or the week after. Con- concerts are the actual concerts show. Concerts are next week, and then the show yeah. is right right behind. They're going to do a quick turnaround edit on that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're telling me we can't get the time bracelet it, to it. Right? If y'all could... Ed- is that what you're trying to tell me, Mariah? If y'all could edit the CBS in two days... <laughs> Oh, we've, yeah. we've been waiting 20 years for the charm race. So yeah. come on now. Come on now. Let's not let's not be playing games. <laughs> yeah. Where are the yes, tapes? Exactly. But also very quickly. Now, there's some. Remember last year, um, Mariah's big thing was McDonald's for her big push and everything like that. Oh, um, yeah. And yeah, this yeah. year it's going to be the concerts and the and the streaming on Paramount Plus and stuff like that. But um, apparently, it was a very successful moment for Mariah and McDonald's last year. Yeah. So if you remember, there was that whole marketing campaign where it was like a whole month of McDonald's. Like you had to go oh, yeah. do tasks. The Mariah menu. You get f- the Mariah menu. Yes. That's it. And then each day had a different item. Mm-hmm. And then on particular days, you had to like scramble to get the t-shirt or the beanie. Yes. And she had people up at 3 a.m. And they were limited editions. And you had to get you an Egg McMuffin when you really didn't want an Egg McMuffin. <laughs> There's this whole East Coast, West Coast time zone fight happening. Girl, it, it was, was a whole debacle. It was a lot. It was a lot. But apparently it worked. It was a lot. It worked. Uh, apparently. So this is the, um, I guess, like, what do you call it after the... <laughs> After the, something happens, the, <laughs> like, the report, report, I guess. Yeah, debriefing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, the Mariah X McDonald marketing campaign last Christmas season generated 9.9 billion impressions and an un, uh, unprecedented number of headings, making it one of their most successful campaigns ever. McDonald's. Look at that. McDonald's Can you that? been around forever. They're always doing something, bada ba 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 and and this was their uh-huh. most successful campaign ever. Get out of here. Ever. I know. It's genius. Isn't that wild? Uh, honey, yes. Honey, you wanna uh, well if speaking of wild, if you ever want to support the show and hear us talk about other wild things, you can go right mm-hmm. over to uh patreon.com slash the Mariah Report and hear about yes. all the wild antics that are going on over there. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's so much fun. Uh, you get to hear us plan the show. So we actually like talk through these things first and, you know, go on tangents. Uh, we talk about what we get up to that week. You know, it's really good for the listeners who love a long episode. Yes. Because you're. that's where, if you love a long episode, the Patreon is for you. You get the long episodes. Uh, you get more behind the scenes talk. You get to uh, interact with other listeners too. We go through the comments and we respond and go on tangents. It's so much fun. And it also supports the show, keeps it running, keeps things going. That's right. um, it's a good time. It's a good time over there. We get, we get into a little bit of everything. And 
We also, if you want to support the show, you can go to themariahreport.com and get you some good old merch. We got the merch. The merch store is back. The merch store is back. And I just received one of our merchandise items. And I must say, it's uh, it's being framed immediately. But it is a vintage moment. It's from way back when. But it is a poster because, you know, celebrating 25 years of Butterfly. But we have this beautiful poster. It's done by our favorite artist, Darko. He did this for us a couple of, uh, a while back for our merch store. And it was on t-shirts, it was on mugs, like we had it available, but now it's exclusively a poster because it's so beautiful, beautiful, so well done, so much detail. Uh, so go just have a look. Go to themariahreport.com, check it out. That's something I'm jealous and I'm totally going to yes, buy. You, yeah, girl, you got to get one. It is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Well, yesterday it was kind of chilly here in New York. So um, I was at home. I was like, I need something to lounge around in. So I pulled out the hoodie that we have available. And it's the perfect hoodie for lounging around the house. It's the best. Comfortable, soft, warm, all the things. A good hood. Love it. Yeah, we love. (laughs) All right. All right. So back to other Mariah things, because we got a couple other things to report. And we have to talk about this Stephen Colbert show. Okay, right, right. Mariah's right. doing all these other little things that I'm okay. Remember last week, we were a little confused about what Roblox is. Mm-hmm. We've had some um, listeners chime in and sort of give us a rundown of what that is because I didn't know if it's this, that, or the other, but apparently it's a game. It's not NFT related, nope. <laughs> it's not metaverse related. Nope. <laughs> Just regular online related. It's just a good old game. That's good old game easy that you can enough. do on your browser. It's easy enough. Yeah. You could play. Or I think your app or the tablet. Yeah. All, all the devices. Right. So basically, I think it's like The Sims. Apparently, all the kids love it. Like the young kids. You go in, you create your own world. And so there's a huge audience on there. It's part of the gaming community. Uh, and so she's tapping into that. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. And she's going to be doing some, I guess, exclusive performances. Right. Starting the 20th. Right. So if you're into that, (laughs) go check it out. (laughs) Please check it out. Please check it out and let us know because I can't do all of that. Can't do all of that. Um, Uh And a few of the other things that I really cannot do are things that she just announced this week. Like um, the Venmo thing. The Venmo thing. What is that? I'm not doing all that. Girl, what is that? I don't know. Too much work. That's what I said, girl. If I have to hit more buttons, <laughs> yeah. but it looks cute. It looks good. Right. I, some sort of. I. I think it's like I, if you send somebody money, you can wrap it in a Mariah virtual wrapping paper or something. Cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're just like cute. <laughs> Because when I'm Ben rowing, I'm like, what do I owe you? Like, I owe someone money. I'm not sending him a gift. No, we're, honey, we cannot. We cannot. I don't know anything about it. It's it's wild and crazy, but apparently uh-huh. people can do it. Um, but it's basically, she's teamed up with Venmo, and um, they say uh, you can help make your money sparkle. Um, mm-hmm. So it's a limited edition holiday gift wrap. That's starting on uh, the 7th, which was, you know, this week. And when they use the app to send the money to friends, they have the option to gift wrap it with a custom virtual Mariah Carey gift wrap. And it's cute. It is cute. Yeah. So I guess. How about, I got an idea, Dan. Dan. How about the listeners Venmo us (laughs) some money and wrap it in this? (laughs) If I knew how to tell them how to Venmo me, I, we could do that, but I don't even know how to yeah. tell people to Venmo me. I don't know. <laughs> if anybody wants to volunteer and Venmo us some money, yes, feel free. Yes, just so we can see, you know, what the virtual gift wrapping is. Um, <laughs> we got to see. Uh, but the yeah. other thing, okay, the, and then the other thing that she's doing is this thing with GeoJam. Now, we've discussed GeoJam before, mm-hmm. but this time, I think it's... Now, this is, is NFT this stuff. This is NFT, because this is what she did with the other NFT was uh, through GeoJam, right? This, this was the boarding pass and get the experience at the Songwriter Hall of Fame. 
that whole thing, thing, which was fabulous for whoever um, had that experience. Fabulous. I love that for you. Um, But she's teaming up with GeoJam this year for a 25-day holiday giveaway. Um, Mm -hmm. You can design a Mariah-themed card and have it signed by her. And you also have a chance to win tickets to her upcoming Christmas concert series. So Mm -hmm. I don't know how all of that works. But if you do, I highly encourage you to (laughs) go over to GeoJam and make a card. Yep. (laughs) Because, again, is it like a real-life card or are you just sending it? I think it's an NFT card. It's an NFT card. You got to pay for this? What, 25 days? Well, the concerts are next, yeah, what day is next it? week. So, like, they're telling us now? Girl, are they late? Maybe it was starting December 1. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But we just heard but, about it today, anyways. I know, right? We just heard about it. That's why I'm still confused. I still don't know what you get. Me neither. Probably never will. But also, I thought, the, I thought the NFTs were like down the drain. I thought they all went bankrupt. Yeah, I thought we were going to get out of the business. Yes, everybody get your money and run. Yeah. <laughs> allegedly. Well, I, I allegedly. Know, I know nothing. We don't know. <laughs> don't listen to us. We, you'd heard us the first time. We don't know about NFTs. Um, yes, we don't know about NFTs and we barely know about comic books. However, what we do mm-hmm. know is there is a Mariah comic book series coming out. Yeah, and these are legit. Yes, and they look good. Comic books. They look real right. good. And they're done by like um a like a real professional comic book uh publisher. Yeah. Um so it's called The Female Force Comic Series featuring prominent and influential authors, business executives, entertainers, journalists, politicians and activists. Uh, recent issues have featured Dolly Parton, Barbara Streisand, and Stevie oh, Nicks. Oh, all right. Yeah. Um, and then from the publisher, they said, we wanted to time this with the world celebrating the self-proclaimed Queen of Christmas. Okay, we need to correct them on this. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> As fans of Mariah Carey since day one. We're excited to have her be a part of the Female Force line of biographies. Um, She has an inspiring story and to release it for the holidays seems to be the perfect fit. Uh, And so it's a 22-page comic book uh, called Female Force Mariah Carey. It's written by Michael Frizzell with art by Pablo Matinia. Matinia. All right. Uh, the book will be available. The book will be available digitally and in print. The hardback cover is illustrated by famous comic book artist Joe Phillips, who's done Superman, Star Trek, and Mister Miracle. And the paperback is designed by Nelson Hernandez, who is a listener of the Mariah Report. Yes, he is. What's up, Nelson? Yes, he is. We know him. We know him. That's so go, go get yourself the comic Yes, book. yes. Get the hard copy with his illustrations. I'll... No, he's the paperback. Oh, he's, oh, the he's the paperback. paperback. Yes, he did the cover. Did the cover of the it's the one with like the Mariah on the cover, like in the middle and then the multiple Mariah eras around her. Okay. That's Nelson's well, one. Well, because he knows all the eras. He knows all the eras. Right. It's a 28-page expanded holiday version featuring a themed cover, um, and it's designed by Marvel Comics artist... Yonami. So if you're a comic book geek, this is right up your alley. And it's legit. Yes, it is. And it looks cute. It's a cu- it's a great collecting item. Yes. Very, very like if you're a collector, this is it right here. This is where you, this is what you want. Because it's all isn't it like limited editions? Yeah, and just, I'm just like looking at the screen grabs of it. There's like little Mariah scenes. I know, right? With her and Pat at the piano. It like tells like her whole story. It's very like um, the meaning of Mariah comic book style. But comic book, yeah. I love it. There's glitter. There's her working as a waitress. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Girl. Her marriage to Tommy Mottola. All of it. It's all there. Yeah. It's all there. Um. Now, uh, so that's good. Wait, who is this? Honey, I, I want to see that in person. I don't know where to buy a comic book, but 
uh-huh. you find you find it somewhere. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I think online, Amazon. Okay. Okay. Perfect. 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 But get into it. Yes, please do. Please do. Absolutely. Now, um, before we get into the other big moment of the um, episode here, we do have to mention about the concerts next week. Christopher Buckle just posted a photo with him and Debbie Allen. Now, we know Mm -hmm. Debbie Allen has been um, sort of a creative director for a lot of Mariah concerts, including year one of the Beacon Theater shows and the Butter. Which was low-key the best year? Yes, absolutely. They had all the people, all the dancing, Mm -hmm. they had everything. Acrobatics. Yes, fabulous. But she also- It was a a circus. a, A Christmas circus. Yes. But she also did the Butterfly Tour as well. So she's been working with Mariah on yeah. stage shows for quite some time. So yes. I think this is going to be good. I think it's going to be a good I think one. so, too. Mm-hmm. Debbie Allen. There we have it. Um, yeah, things are looking good. The team is back. Yeah. Our people. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Um, all right. Well, I think also that maybe the budget is higher now. So we have a little more, you know. Our people are expensive. We can afford our people, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so now the big moment of the show. Mariah on television. She visited the late show with Stephen Colbert. Yeah, and I didn't didn't realize this was their first time actually meeting. No. I thought she'd been on that show before. I, right, and I think she was during the promo for the book, uh, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, but it was like on a Zoom. Right, she, yeah. she was doing all the zooms, so she like went yes. everywhere or something like that. But this is her first time physically being there, and I must say, we have to start with the look, the gorgeous look. Yes, well, she gave us a promo, a sneak peek of this. It just looked like a cat suit, like a bodysuit with the belt, mm-hmm. but then she was giving us the big hair that we yes. love. Yes, and and we um, saw photos last week of her in this outfit. Um, and we mm-hmm. knew she was taping this, so here we have it. And she looks stunning mm-hmm. and gorgeous, so she was serving us everything. And mm-hmm. I'm not a big watcher of Stephen Colbert. Like, I, I guess I'm not, like, I, I don't watch his show. But it was good. Mm-hmm. It was a really good little fun, cute, festive interview. It was. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was very entertaining. She's the queen of deflection. She won't answer a question. Uh, never. Absolutely never. <laughs> Absolutely never. But you know what? This In this particular instance, I thought it was cute. It worked. And it was, I thought it was funny, and I thought it was very smart. Because it yes. just shows how she can evade a question, no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even if it's like a redundant question, she will yeah. dodge it. She will walk all the way around that question. <laughs> she will then stomp on that question. And that that question will arise again, and she will just set it on fire and not answer it. And then she'll ask you the question. Yes. Okay, (laughs) that was a good moment. That was a good moment on that one. What was that question that they asked? Oh, um, Oh. what happens? um, What happens when you die? No, was that? Yes, yes. Um, And then she was like, well, what do you think happens? And he was like, no, I asked you the question. Oh, that's right, yeah. And she was like, and I answered your question with a question. (laughs) Um, And then she, uh, I guess, essentially, she said, you know, she has faith and whatever happens is Mm -hmm. what's supposed to happen. Something Mm -hmm. about expectations, evidence yet unseen, all that kind of good stuff. But cute, 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 cute. And I loved it. What did you think of the apples and oranges question? I thought her answer was appropriate to go with oranges. Yeah. I know. I know. And then he, he what did he do? He sort of was like, he was, he was like, oh, and she's like, what? What's wrong with oranges? <laughs> that yeah. was like the only. I'm team orange. That was the only question that she actually answered. And he like. I know. And then he was like, what? <laughs> she was like, yeah, <laughs> oranges. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm team oranges. Yeah. I don't like apples that much. I mean, I got about five oranges in my fridge right now, so I guess I would choose oranges as well. So The same. That's the fruit I would grab from the shop, yes. not an apple. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, good to know Mariah likes oranges. Absolutely. 
we we do love that. What were some of the other questions um, that were funny or cute? Um, she said, um, "What about this hideous jacket she was talking about? Do we know? That I know. Okay. Yes. What was that jacket? Because it sounds like it's a designer uh-huh, jacket. Because uh-huh, she didn't want to mention a name." Yeah, um, and also my brain was going to Chanel for some reason. Chanel. Well, I instantly was thinking, um, I remember a few years back she went to like maybe the Lego premiere and the kids were with her. Oh, I think that was Gucci. Gucci. I think that was a Gucci coat. Yeah. But that was cute. Yes. That was cute. That was a cute one. And it wasn't cropped, was it? Mm, no, it was not cropped. No, mm-mm, not to my yeah, but that's cute. To that's my cute. Knowledge. But then it, I'm sort of imagining whatever this jacket is, we've never seen it. Maybe we've never seen it. Maybe we have never seen yeah. it. But okay, do you know who needs to be on the case? Okay, who's on the case? Mariah Carey closet. <laughs> they need to find a cropped jacket <laughs> that's colored and sparkly yes. and expensive, and hideously ugly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and listen, Mariah, if you want to get rid of it, I'll take it. Oh, of course. Please. Uh, no questions yeah. asked. I won't uh-huh. ask who gave it to you. <laughs> I no. won't ask where you got it from. I will just take yeah. it and be, we'll leave it at that. Right. <laughs> well, then I has to give it to Stephen Colbert. He's now needs He doesn't it. need it. He's not getting it. He's not. No, <laughs> he's not. I mean, we love him. We love everybody. But no, he, he's not getting it. Yeah, let's find out that jacket. Yes. Let's, we need to like get a list of suspects. Yes, exactly. Lambs, please let us know what the jacket is because it's got to be out right. there somewhere. But you, I, know. I think you're right, though. I don't think it because it's so hideously ugly, she probably has never worn it outside. A little bit of my brain also went to the way she was describing it, but it's totally not this, but the Dolce & Gabbana dress she just wore over the summer in Europe. The like tile print oh you think but not that okay but but i imagine it to be like that like squares of colors hmm in a jacket yeah we need the mariah carey closet on this one we absolutely do that's where my yeah absolutely yeah my brain went squares of colors and chanel that's where my brain Mm -hmm. went Because I'm, I'm trying to figure right. out what this is. We're going to get to the bottom of it because I know all the listeners, they, they have ideas that we do not have. They know more. Um, Whatever it is, I'm sure someone has seen it on the runway. Right. Exactly. Maybe Mariah hasn't worn it, but it's out there. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to have to wrap up the show, but there's a couple of quick things that I wanted to mention, specifically about Mariah's look at um Stephen Colbert because there was sort of like a little bit of a viral moment going around remember the photo she posted of her um judging the hair right she looked yes that was great in that photo and I'm telling you it was all over the timelines all over the timelines yes. uh-huh it blew up gorgeous stunning mm-hmm. people are into Mariah right now I'm telling you I'm telling you, anyone mm-hmm. who doesn't like Mariah at any time of year, you're nuts. <laughs> you're crazy. I'm not dealing yes. with you. Nah. Gorgeous. Um, but then the other cute little moment, I'm going to assume the photo was taken backstage at the Stephen Colbert show, but she um, posted a photo with her and Sally Field, the iconic Sally Field, the flying nun. Yes. Um, yes, <laughs> she's been in so many things. I mean, uh, what's the? This is us. This is recent. Oh, yep. Um, what is my favorite movie of hers? It has every Dolly Parton's in it. Um, oh my god. Oh, fried green tomatoes. No, fried green no, tomatoes. no, no, not. Is it fried green tomatoes? Oh, no, no, no. It no, is, um, no. Sort of around no, that. No. It's around that. Oh my god, my. The one with the diabetes, yes, Julia Roberts. Yes, <laughs> yes. The, the, What's that called? Drink your juice, Shelby. Drink your juice. <laughs> um, <laughs> why can't I remember? My friend is going to kill me because it's his favorite movie. Um, they just did the black version yes, of it, too. Yes, Queen remember? Latifah. Um, yes, yes. Oh, my God. What is the name of that movie? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, we, we have, have to, guess to guess it. We have to figure we it out. We have to. We have to. It is um, Steel Magnolias. Cool. Still Magnolias, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And she was in Forrest Gump. Oh, yes. Honey, she's an icon. All the things, yeah. And Mariah uh, captioned how much she loves 
her. So, oh my God, I was so excited to see that. Because again, you yeah. think Mariah has like met everybody, but mm-hmm. apparently not. Yeah, Especially sort of like in the acting gig, because they don't like music and acting don't always collide with each other. But mm-hmm. anyway, exactly. Cute, cute photo. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Because Sally Field has a new movie coming out. Oh, yes, with Jim Parsons. Yes, and I think it's, it's uh, some homosexuality in there, too. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Although, watching the trailer, I'm like, isn't this bros? Didn't right? we just watch it's, this? I think it's basically just bros, which, by the way, bros is streaming now on Peacock. So I mm-hmm. watched it the other night. So it's, it's cute. Oh, is it cute? i got, I got to oh, watch yeah, it. Oh, yes, over there on the Peacock. Okay, I'll tune in. Tune in. Um, but I think, okay, I think that's it. Have we covered everything for this week, for this moment? Basically, basically. <laughs> There's a lot going on. That's the problem. There's so many things. Yes, but we will always be here to report on Mariah. So um, that'll wrap it up for this week. Yes, and don't forget, if you had a good time, we would love your support. Just like PBS, we need support <laughs> from the community <laughs> over this here. this channel. Yes. Head over to patreon.com. Sign up for five bucks a month. Cancel any time. You get bonus content over there. You can also click the link in our description go check out our new merch store just go browsing check it out or if you want to support us for free leave us a review on apple Podcasts. and next week we're going to read some out so you know that helps as well yes it'll be a fun festive time but until then we bid you adieu <laughs> what i don't know, know how you bye. say bye people <laughs> bye <laughs> The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Beats. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.